I love Mike Hansen archives. Did you get ready to run? And we've got another thing called talk radio. And I'm I'm happy to introduce uh, local radio talk show host Alex Jones. I want to thank everybody here who is in defiance of tyranny. Yeah. And everything yeah. these people have said is absolutely true. Yeah. Make no mistake, the enemy is on the march. They want you disarmed, just like Adolf Hitler, just like Joseph Stalin, just like all the rest of thugs from Mao to Pol Pot, to our enemy 90 miles off our coast in Cuba. You don't hear the mainstream media talk about the hundreds of thousands of people that Fidel has tortured. And I support our local law enforcement. They are the Achilles heel of big government. That's why I'm saying to our law enforcement here today, we count on you to follow that oath, to protect and defend the Constitution of the state of Texas and of the United States of America that our forefathers fought the British to uphold. Tyrants know that serfs are disarmed, whether it was feudal Europe or feudal Japan. And I heard that judge earlier. What a wonderful speech he gave. He's absolutely right. This is what the French call force majeure, the most powerful force. It's about power. And I know thousands of people that call or write me letters that are almost afraid to do it and mail it from the post office with no return address because they're afraid, because they know the power of this central government. They know the sociopaths that are being hired in the FBI and the big agencies, people like Lon Horiuchi, and the good people like Frederick Whitehurst are leaving, former FBI crime lab head. Now, if we go back in history, there's been a lot of talk about history, and it does prove what's happening today. I'm not worried about the people here today wearing sidearms. I love it. It's good. It makes me feel happy. It makes me not worry about my 11-year-old little sister. It makes me not worry about my mother and my grandparents. You know, my family's been in Texas since 1829 on my father's side and 1845 on my mother's side as German immigrants in this area. And let me tell you, there's old gun lockers at my father's home, part of the house that didn't burn down, turn of the century, is about 150 years old. I'm serious. Very, very old. And there are old gun lockers in there. There are, there are old shotguns that are 160, 170 years old. There's new guns, you name it. Why, my HK-91s are stored there. And nobody in my family has ever gone to prison for murder or assault. And we all know how to use firearms. We all know how to shoot a ragged hole at 200 yards. And we're not backing down, Bill Clinton. You can go to Russia during the 60s. You can train and learn from your good buddies over in Europe how to take this nation over. And I say to you, we refuse to submit. And every person out there, you have the power to lead. You have the power to do what it takes to stand up for this country and stand up for the world, the United States of America that has stood up for hundreds of years against tyranny. And then I go and I read the textbooks. People send them to me up at the radio station, up at the TV station. And I open it up and what do I see? Things in the Texas McGrauders government, says the Second Amendment, has nothing to do with the right to keep bear arms, and it's misunderstood widely. I hear about how bad America is. And you're right, America's not a perfect country. Look at every other nation in its history. But we're the best nation on the face of the earth because people were willing to stand up, put all their treasure, their family, everything on the line because they didn't like bullies and they wanted to control their destiny. Now, do you want control of your destiny? Or do you want to be a slave on your feet with some leering bureaucrat over you telling you what you can do? The age of big government has just begun. It's far from over. And I will repeat the words of our founding father, the father of our country, George Washington. Firearms are the teeth and the strength of the Constitution. Without them, evil men and tyrants flourish. Hey! Criminals are cowards. That's why they fear you. And I heard the judge say earlier, there's more people here than fought and died at the Alamo. And look, the great bushfires in the minds of men that their noble sacrifice created. 
And all the revisionist historians can't stop that any more than they can degrade the Minutemen, the Paul Revere's, the people out there on the front line. And make no mistake, every single man, woman, and child, you are the Paul Revere's of the world. Now go out into the public and let the world know that you're not backing down. This is the final conflagration. Power is massing massively. Our banks have been taken over by foreign countries. Even Forbes magazine will tell you that. Our nation is in the midst of the Third World War, and it's economic, and it's being fought in your minds. Now get out there, the Paul Revere's of the world, and educate the public. Stand up against the tyrants, and please stay with us for the senator all the way down here from New Hampshire. Senator Smith, a guy when I'm flipping past C-SPAN, I always stop and watch. And I encouraged him, I know he's tired, works all the time, to get down there and do more of those 20-minute speeches, even though nobody's in there, because America's watching. We don't care what those sold-out pomps and servants think. We don't care, they're not there leering. We want that sacred house to be filled with good people like the senator from New Hampshire. And their license plate reads, live free or die. I'll take the words of Patrick Henry as I close, and I'll close on this. I know not what course you will take, but as for me, give me liberty or give me death. Thank you.